to reach this pinnacle, the Tour de France takes a special kind of athlete. No, but he's done. He's cooked. He's fried. <laughs> Utterly focused. I am willed. We are witnessing a battle duel here between the greatest climbers in the world. Whatever it takes. There's doping going on, cheating going on. That's what it's about. It's about winning. Sport is about winning. Not coming second, third, fourth or fifth. Who cares? I'm here. Tino Tabak knows. He's been at the top. The first Kiwi ever to get there. And yes, he's done whatever it took. If people want to stamp me as a druggie or whatever, I don't give two hoots what they want to do. I don't care. Drugs? Yes, he took them. Not on Le Tour, he says, but in other big road races. He says he had to, to stay at the top. And it's that blunt honesty, that I don't give a damn attitude, that's defined Tino Tabak from day one. Sport is about winning, not taking part. I didn't take part. I knew I was going to win. And I did. Obsessive, tough, cunning. Tino Tabak and pro cycling were made for each other. Tino, uh, congratulations, great performance. Thanks for uh, What was your feeling as you came down the road there? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, well, I actually wasn't thinking at all. It was just a matter of keeping going, I think. I was the best. You were? Yeah. I had that Dutch in me to want to win and that arrogance. Kiwi Cycling had never seen anything like him. You name it, he won it. Again and again. 99% of the races I attacked straight away. Got rid of him. People must have thought I was a pain in the butt, arrogant little so-and-so. But that was just my style. I liked to show that I was the best. That ruthless streak made him unbeatable and unpopular. I had very, very little friends. Very little friends. I, I do think that they did have a bit of respect for me as a cyclist. Maybe not as a person, but as a cyclist, I think, I, well, they didn't, didn't, didn't have any choice because if they didn't, I just beat them. <laughs> With Tino, cycling came first. Everything else came second, including his own wife and children. A father is taking care of your family, looking after your family. I had none of, did none of that, right? Absolutely none. Everything was sacrificed for one goal, the world's most famous cycle race. I wanted to ride the Tour de France. I was going to ride the Tour de France. There was no ifs or buts about it. That was, that was my mission. First, he headed back to his native Holland. That's where he'd find out just how he stacked up against the world's best. And all I wanted to be was the best bike rider. And it was tough? Hello. There was, there was about 10,000 of Tino's there. Of course, they were no match for the real thing. Sir Tino Tabak was a Dutch hero too. You've won the Dutch National Professional Road, yeah. National yes. Road Championship. Yes. Wow. And what were the crowds like that day? Oh, actually they were quite small, about 85,000 people. <laughs> and then it happened. Tino Tabak from Canterbury via Holland won an invite to cycling's most famous race. He was in the Tour de France. That was my, that was my dream. And my dream had come true, and I just went, woof, wow. Inexperience cost him the first time he entered. But the next year, he was tougher, smarter, faster. To this day, Tino Tabak's 18th place finish is the best result ever by a Kiwi in the Tour de France. <laughs> well, this is, this is actually, it's actually wow. it's yeah. New Zealand sporting history, isn't it? You would all want, yeah, it is, it's, yeah. In an Ashburton cycle shop, they've got the jersey he wore on Le Tour. Tino hadn't seen it for 30 years. <laughs> it's part of me, yeah. 
Sort of makes me a bit teary-eyed, eh? Does it? Yeah, it does. But that best Kiwi ever tag is still not good enough for Tino. 18th. Doesn't count, does it? But don't you feel proud of that 18th? No. You must do. Yeah, why? This was against hundreds of other riders from around the world. Yeah. You've done better than any other Kiwi rider. Yeah. It's still 18th. Why get excited about getting 18th? I didn't win it. That's not the way they see it down at Tino's local cycle club, almost 40 years later. Tino to back means the greatest cyclist that New Zealand's produced. So, yeah, one you'd look up to and go, wow. <laughs> and he was sort of top, top rider in the day. He was really good. But only Tino Tabak knows what success really cost him. Staying at the top would take more and more from him. In the end, something had to give, and it did. After the break. That whole amphetamine thing, it, it, it gives you the confidence in yourself. A, a, a sort of a security it gave you. How often were you taking drugs?